We talk about scientific mysteries so much around here that you'd think scientists are quite bad at their jobs. Of course, that's absolutely not true. Other than the really big questions, like what are the true origins of life on Earth, or what is the size of the universe, science is actually quite good at solving the more manageable everyday scientific mysteries that you may come across on your social media feed. Number 10. What was happening to the bees? A few years ago, the internet was, if we may, swarmed by reports of a grim development involving bees. According to reports from beekeepers and biologists, worker bees had suddenly started to disappear across North America and Europe, as well as a few parts of Asia, Africa, and South America, and no one could tell why. They weren't exactly dying either, only leaving their hives and queens behind and never coming back, a phenomenon that scientists call colony collapse disorder. As it turns out, the whole thing was never very mysterious in the first place. Worker bee populations were suddenly leaving their hives and going off due to multiple bug infestations caused by neonicotinoids, a class of pesticides used in almost every major crop across North America. Multiple studies from as far back as 2013 have proven that these chemicals make the bees more vulnerable to fungal and viral infections, along with severely affecting their nerve and motor function. It's not just the bees either. Neonicotinoids are responsible for adverse effects on multiple insect populations around the world, which is why they were officially banned in Europe in 2013. Sustained efforts by pharmaceutical giants, like political lobbying and funding research efforts that present the problem as complicated and multidimensional, have kept them legal in the United States and Canada. Number 9. Monarch Butterfly Migration Every fall, monarch butterflies across North America set off on one of the longest migration routes found in nature. Starting from southern Canada and parts of the United States, they travel over 3,000 miles to the mountains of central Mexico to spend the winter before returning back home in March. No single monarch butterfly completes the journey, and the round trip can involve up to four generations. But other butterfly species, including monarch butterflies on other continents, do migrate. Their routes are usually much more localized. Monarch butterflies are the only butterfly species species that undertake such an arduous, generation-spanning journey just to spend the winter, and its evolutionary origins are still somewhat of a mystery. What we do now understand, though, is how they do it. This is thanks to a study from 2016 led by a mathematician at the University of Washington. Together with other experts like neurobiologists, he mapped the brain function of the butterflies and recreated the internal compass they used to navigate. He found that the butterflies use the position of the sun, combined with their own circadian clock, to make this journey, which is how they're able to travel southward and northward throughout the day without the need for external cues. Number 8. The Sailing Stones of Death Valley, California The mysterious Sailing Stones of Death Valley, California have captured the attention of serious scientists and conspiracy theorists alike since they were first discovered in the early 1900s. These stones, much like the name suggests, seem to be moving, usually with clear, long tracks behind them. For a long time, no one had a clue what made them do it, as the winds in the valley were hardly strong enough to move large boulders. Some people suggested aliens, though why aliens would show up unnoticed to move rocks around in a remote valley in California called Death was anybody's guess. That was until 2011, when two researchers, Richard D. Norris and his cousin James M. Norris, placed their own rocks with GPS devices and recorded them for over two years. By late 2013, they'd found the cause, a thin layer of ice that formed during the night in the winter months and broke off during the day, causing the stones to slide and leave tracks. On the best days, the rocks would move at speeds of over 15 feet a minute. Number 7. Inaccessible Island Rail Inaccessible Island is an aptly named island in the South Atlantic Ocean, somewhere between the huge land masses of Africa and South America. It's home to Atlantisia regersi, a subspecies of rails endemic to the island, even if the bird really has no reason to be there. While rails are often known to be a diverse, widely spread out bird species found on every continent except Antarctica, how this one ended up on an island as remote as Inaccessible Island has puzzled biologists ever since it was first discovered in the late 1800s. According to one popular theory, it may have arrived through Atlantis before it supposedly submerged, which is how it was named. That was until November 2018, when a study conducted by researchers from Lund University in Sweden put the matter to rest. They used modern sequencing techniques to analyze the bird's DNA, and were able to trace its origins to a species found in South America around 1.5 million years ago. Number 6. The Tunguska Events 
The Tunguska event refers to a major explosion that occurred in East Siberia in Russia back in 1908. According to local eyewitnesses, it had all the signs of being an asteroid. The explosion was preceded by a giant ball of fire streaking through the sky before it exploded in the forest, killing a bunch of reindeer and flattening an estimated 80 million trees almost instantly, though no signs of a meteor were found by the first scientists to reach the site. While the mystery has endured ever since, a study published in the journal Planetary and Space Science provides conclusive evidence that the explosion was, in fact, a meteorite. The researchers studied multiple samples from the time with modern techniques and found traces of materials that could only be formed by a meteorite explosion. It seems to have disintegrated in the atmosphere as it was traveling at an angle and may have been as big as a 25-story building. Number 5. How do owls turn their head? Almost all our species can turn their heads back as much as 270 degrees without consequence. If we tried that, we'd likely pass out and end up in the hospital due to severed arteries and that's if we're lucky. It's a distinct adaptation found only in a handful of other species, like Tarsiers, a species of island-dwelling primates found across Southeast Asia. Evolutionary speaking, it makes perfect sense, too. Owls are unable to move their eyes, as they're fixed in one position and rely on their head-turning abilities to look around. What we've never quite understood, though, are the anatomical mechanisms that allow that kind of movement. The breakthrough study came in 2013, when researchers at Johns Hopkins Medicine in Baltimore used the latest imaging techniques and other methods to map out the structure of three owl species found across the Americas. Their heads, it seems, are specifically designed to be turned to extremely high angles. The cavity in their neck that houses the primary artery is about ten times longer, allowing for immense maneuverability at times of extreme head turning. They also have special reservoirs of blood just under their jawline for uninterrupted blood flow, preventing a stroke-like situation every time they turn their head to see what's going on behind them. Number 4. The Windsor Hum the Windsor Hum was first reported in 2011 when residents of the city of Windsor in Ontario, Canada suddenly started hearing a continuous, barely audible hum. In the years since, conspiracy theorists as well as serious scientists have floated multiple theories to explain it, though to little success. The mystery lasted until April 2020, when the COVID pandemic forced multiple factories across the U.S. to stop production. That included a U.S. steel plant operating on Zug Island in Detroit, which was just across the river from Windsor. The hum, as it turns out, was coming from its overworked blast furnaces, which in turn shook the plant's metallic foundation and produced a constant low-frequency hum that can't be easily detected. The sound went away as soon as the furnaces were shut down. Number 3. The Wow Signal In August 1977, astronomers stationed at the Big Ear Observatory at Ohio State University recorded a radio signal that's still cited as the only known evidence for the existence of alien life. Lasting exactly 72 seconds in duration, the signal was so strong that one of the astronomers present, Jerry Emmon, wrote WOW right next to the readings. Its frequency was the same as hydrogen, though they had no idea where it came from. The mystery wasn't solved until the end of 2016, when a team of astronomers looked at comets as a possible explanation, as comets tend to be surrounded by hydrogen clouds. Sure enough, they found two of them, P2008Y2 Gibbs and 266P Christiansen. They were in the region at the time that the signal was recorded, though both were still undiscovered. One of them, 266P, even produced the same type of signals as the WOW signal when they observed it from late 2016 to early 2017. Number 2. How do marine mammals breathe? Aquatic mammals are able to hold their breath underwater for much longer periods than us, a fact that has perplexed scientists for a long time. Their lungs are, after all, the same as ours, much like many other parts of their body. Yet some whale species have been known to remain underwater for as long as two hours, while the best most of us can do, unless you're a world-class swimmer or diver or a Navy SEAL, is just a few minutes. It remains a mystery until 2013, when a group of researchers from the University of Liverpool decided that it was time to solve it. They studied the lungs of a variety of aquatic mammals like whales, beavers, muskrats, etc., and found that they contain an unusually high amount of myoglobin, an oxygen-binding protein found in the lungs of all mammals. While large amounts of protein tend to stick together, the myoglobin molecules found in aquatic mammals carry a higher electrical charge than their land-based counterparts, allowing them to store a higher amount of oxygen and for longer periods of time. Number 1. 
Yeti. The mystery of the Yeti, the large humanoid ape-like creature supposedly found in the upper reaches of the Himalayas, has gone through many twists and turns over the centuries. While stories of such a creature have existed in local folklore and anecdotal accounts for much longer, the Lepcha people even worship it as a god of the forest beasts, it became a globally discussed phenomenon only in 1951, when a picture of its supposed footprint made headlines around the world. Since then, mountaineers from all corners of the world have come forward with their own experiences with the Yeti, complete with what they claim are samples of Yeti hair, teeth, skin, or other memorabilia. The mystery has endured despite the fact that no such creature has ever been discovered in the region. In fact, when a team of researchers ran some of those samples through a DNA test, they found evidence of something far more dangerous and elusive as a possible explanation for all the Yeti sightings bears. All of them were samples taken from Himalayan black or brown bear species, except one that came from a domestic dog. 